we'd had to hug Fatty close to the right-hand side to get a straight run into the dam. This was squadron leader Les Monroe, 65 years after the dam buster raids, returning to Derbyshire where they'd practiced the mission. The targets didn't worry us. It was the route to the target through the Ruhr Valley, which was you know, recognised as a very heavily defended area. And I think that was more of a concern than the fact that we were going to attack the dams. It was one of the most daring of World War II, and these bouncing bombs were their secret weapon. Dropped onto German dams by the Lancaster bombers, the mission saw only 77 men out of a crew of 133 return. Monroe's aircraft was hit by flak, but unlike many others, he made it home. They were hand-picked, they were elite air crew. They were the best of the best. And so he will be one of those people who carried that forward and was conscious of that, I think, and lived up to the reputation. Two years ago, he returned to England from his native New Zealand as the last surviving Dam Busters pilot for the 70th anniversary of that famous 1943 raid. Earlier this year, he auctioned off his gallantry medals to help pay for the upkeep of the Bomber Command Memorial in London. I thought of the 1,679 New Zealanders that travelled 12,000 miles to fight for king and country, for freedom and democracy, and gave their lives in pursuit of those objectives. Today he was described as a remarkable man who led a remarkable life. He died in hospital after a short illness at the age of 96. Sangeeta Kandola, 5 News.